Hey guys, Zizek here, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I've been hyping up this whole draft thing for like the past four videos. Um, never occurred to me to actually use math and count uh, for the select format to draft in UFS. Each person needs six packs. There's uh, there's 16 packs here. Uh, so that in no way makes the minimum of four people you need to draft. <laughs> so if I really wanted to, I could go out and buy the other packs I'm missing to do a four-player draft. But I really don't want to do that. I really just want to open these packs, for God's sake. <laughs> so starting to advance, if you're really looking forward to the draft video, I don't know if anyone really was, but I want to open these packs. So this video is going to be in two parts. I'm going to open up all the Cowboy Bebop in one video, because I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to see just the new stuff. And I'll do a second video for all these other packs that are a little bit older. So let's get these out of the way, and I'm so excited. Okay, i am got to calm myself down. All right, so what's the order we're going to do these in? Um, we got to do Spike last. Uh, we got to do Edward before that, and then Jet and Faye. All right, that was easy. <laughs> okay, and something else I didn't mention in the other videos. See how this pack has a little skull icon on it, the death symbol? In Redemption, UFS does a really cool thing. They have a booster pack redemption system built into their packs. Uh, if you go to their website, they have a listing of all these different promos you can get. I'm pretty sure most of them, if not all of them, are like alternate art promos. I could be wrong about that, um, but you can turn in a certain number of packs, you mail them into them, as long as you have the pack with a symbol on it. You actually mail in your booster pack wrappers, and then they mail you back promo cards. So it's a really cool thing. The more cards you buy, you'll always be building up to a new promo. It's a really cool thing I'm not seeing a lot of other people still do. But okay, enough stalling. we got to open this pack. Oh boy. This is the first UFS pack I've opened in... Jeez. I don't know, it's been a while. Alright. First card is Lights Out Bounty. It's Faye. These don't have the reminder text on them for the abilities. Uh, it's just in the starter deck to help you learn. Uh, but Breaker 1. It's a 4 mid, 4 damage. You can discard one momentum, add this attack to your staging area face down after it resolves. So even if it hits, even if it does damage or doesn't do damage, you could just you get a free foundation out of it, basically. That's pretty cool. So then we got... Push these out of the way. Marshall Banana? That's... Yep, that says Banana. Uh, I don't remember that. Is that one of, like, Ed's hacker buddies? I don't remember that at all. <laughs> Alright. Swordfish! We got a first Swordfish card. I really want to make a deck of Spike in the Swordfish. I would love to do that. I'm not going to go over every card. Hey, there's a rare. That's our ultra rare. You can see down there. So every pack has uh, three uncommons, a rare or ultra rare, and the rest is commons. Ten cards all together. So every rare is foil too. Rare or ultra rare. So this is Teddy Bomber, if you guys remember him from the episode. So this is an action. As an enhance, you can play it from your hand, remove... Remove it from the game and lose re three's vitality. That's a lot. You get to remove one card in your opponent's staging area with the printed cost, uh, with the printed control of five from the game, and then this attack gets plus three or minus three damage. That's actually pretty good in this set, actually, because Vicious is all about having five printed cards in the Turbo deck, so it can be really good or bad for him. That's really cool. There's our first rare. Let's put that in a separate pile. Surprising shower. <laughs> Wow, uh, context. That, yeah. <laughs> that scene is very surprising. If you know what that scene is referencing, it's probably not what you think. <laughs> unhealthy diet. Does, I mean, pretty much everyone in the BOP has an unhealthy diet, but I guess Jet particularly has an unhealthy one. <laughs> Cleaning the fish. I love, I love scenes like this in the show where it's just them and like, lounging around clothes just doing menial things like cleaning their ship because like how many like s like space fearing like sci-fi shows do you see where they just where they take time out to just wash their ship like a normal person <laughs> it's so 
cool. I love how there's actually lights out above it too, just to show how beat up and the, how much they don't care. And there's a little eye in the corner. I love it. Red eye capsule. This is, so this card's actually really interesting. Uh, normally you can only have four copies of a card in your deck. Uh, this says you can have up to 16 copies of this card in your deck. So four times the normal amount. That's crazy. Uh, as a reaction, after this card is committed or ready during the enhanced step, the, the, this attack gets plus one or minus one speed playable while committed. So I think uh, Asimov and Katarina's whole thing is, I'm assuming, just readying and committing your foundations. So this gives you a whole bunch to use. Not entirely sure. I haven't looked too much into their cards yet. Space Salvo. Another Swordfish card. I can't wait to make that deck. And Funny Valentine. That's like a poster art or something like that. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, one pack in. Next pack. I already got an Ultra Rare, so so far we're doing good. Hope you don't want to rip open the normal way. Okay. There we go. Oh, we got a character. All right, so only rares and ultra rares are foiled, and characters come as uncommon, so, you, so it's a little easier to get characters in the game. It says Mad... Is it Periot or Perrier? I don't remember how you say his name. Insane child man. Watch the episode if you haven't seen it. Uh, his crazy thing is if you have four copies of him in your staging area, so four copies of him attached to himself, your attacks are unblockable. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm surprised no one has figured out a way to break this guy yet. And you have seven hand size, so there's plenty of chances to draw him. His other abilities are you can enhance and discard the top four cards of your deck to make your attack get plus two speed. And if the attack speed is six or greater, it gets plus two damage. So you get to mill cards off your deck. A lot of his other cards actually let you mess with your discard pile, like removing it from the game. And I'm pretty sure he has another attack or action that lets you take characters removed from the game and put them in your staging area. So he's almost like an Exodia kind of thing. Like if you get the four on him, you're going to have a bad time. Your opponent's going to have a bad time. So that's cool. we got another character to play with. The ISSP Grapple. It's one of Jet's moves. It actually works for Jet. Ein's Brain Scratch. <laughs> if I got our first Ein card. I'm going to love playing with all that, too. And we got another Ultra Rare. Two, two for two so far. Hey, we got this in our starter deck, actually. We got this in the Turbo Pack. Faint Interest. We've seen this before, actually. So we got two copies of that now. That's awesome. Uh, bloody Eye Rushdown. So yeah, this is, like I said earlier, with the Bloody Eye card. You can enhance your ready foundation that has not been ready this combat phase. And you can enhance, if this attack does damage, commit with your opponent's foundations. So it's going to be using those Red Eye things as some kind of big combo kind of thing. Black Dog's Aim. Is that a flashback? I don't remember that. I know he doesn't wear that hat normally. Fei Fei! <laughs> That's what Ed calls Fei. Uh, pretty easy. You can flip this to uh, make an attack lose three speed. It's a pretty good card. Got another red eye capsule, so uh, 14 away from having our play set. It's a weird thing to say. Police connections! <laughs> I remember that guy, and they're like fake bro handshake. Slap their muscles thing. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, what is this? Aelurophobia. A what, what is that? I'm going to look it up real quick. Hang on. Hey, Siri. What's the definition of aelurophobia? Oh, okay. The extreme or irrational fear of cats. That makes sense, if you've seen the episode. All right, yeah, that makes sense. I totally forgot that's what he was terrified of in the episode. But yeah, that's... <laughs> Wait, there's a card for that. <laughs> that's great. All right, so there's the jetpacks. Let's go to Miss Fei Fei. And we got... Oh, I have another Lights Out bounty. <laughs> So, got another one of those. Asimov's Frenzy. <laughs> 
We have another Mad, so uh, two more we have his playset. So just a rare this time, Secret Stash. Uh, flip it to search your deck for up to two foundations, add them to your discard pile. So that would, I'm assuming that would be the red eye stuff. And if you commit, remove two foundations from discard pile from the game, both players discard one momentum. So yeah, basically just using those red eye capsules as like a resource. Harrison's lucky day. <laughs> That's a very weird episode. Surprising shower again. <laughs> Ganymede terrorists. I said that was a weird episode. <laughs> Not pride problem. We've seen that one before. I love that scene. Relentless pursuit. Jet in like his Russian outfit. Finding what was lost. Spike card. Uh, okay. Next fay pack. I see Twinkle Murdoch in there. Unmet demands. Yeah, the crazy terrorist lady. She reminds me of Mom from Futurama, <laughs> if you guys know who I'm talking about. Tong Poo's Assault? Is that what that says? Tong Poo? I don't know what that's referencing. Is that what his cane is? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Woody's. <laughs> I remember that. And we have in the rare, we got Big Shot Judy. One of the two Big Shot characters. Apparently they work it with each other. Um, so it's an action, you, you enhance it, remove it from the game. The attack gets plus three or minus three speed, and then you can add a copy of Punch from your discard pile to your hand. So you get to uh, bring Punch in and use his ability. That's awesome. Feng Shui 101. I remember that. Urban Shower. That's such a cool scene. Look at that. That is like Blade Runner something right there. Explosive Acrobatics. He has those. <laughs> Leg crunch. That's pretty funny. ISSP execution. God, look at how terrifying that is. It's because he has separate teeth. That's what it is. Because they drew in the lines with the separate teeth, it just makes it so unnerving. And Captain's discontent with his Pepsi. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to the Ed packs. And there's Ed. Running out of room here. Got another Marshall banana. <laughs> Funky tomato. Were these like names for her programs or something? I don't remember. Folk tale storyteller. <laughs> Ed's face. Got another rare Hammerhead Assault. Hammerhead is Jet's chip. So it has EX3, so that means you can discard a momentum and it gets plus three speed. It's a 3 speed, high attack, and 5 damage. As an enhance, you can discard the top 2 of your cards, and then you get to add 1 card discarded this way to your momentum. That's pretty good, actually, so you can actually do that first, and then set up your EX attack. And then when you're in deadlock, when your opponent has more than 10 foundations, so 11 or more, uh, you can enhance it to add 2 of your opponent's foundations to the bottom of their deck. That's pretty good, too, actually, just get rid of 2 of their foundations, and they're not going to see them for a while. That's pretty cool, actually. Feng Shui 101, ISSP Execution, and Space Salvo, Captain Discontent. We've seen all these. An Evening with Grin. Yeah, that was an episode. <laughs> Another leg crunch. Only two characters so far in the same one. Kind of disappointing so far. We, get, we already did get a bunch of Ultra Rares already, though, so it's not that bad. All right, what do we got? There's a card for him, Kinetic Energy Shield. Oof, that was such a, like, brutal episode. Fueling up. Spike looking all happy. Space Warrior Squad. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a weird episode. Hey! <laughs> we got a regular rear, we got the Psychedelic Mushroom. I was talking to a friend about this. 
So basically when you play this card, it becomes an exact copy of another card in your staging area. <laughs> it's hilarious. So we got the mushroom. ISSP execution again. Another evening with Grin. Surprising shower. Tijuana takeoff. <laughs> I remember that. The cards like flew away. Captain's discontent. Is he mad because he wanted coke? Is that what it is? Or maybe a terrible joke? <laughs> Another exp explosive acrobatics. All right. We're down to the last two packs. And it's Spike. There's got to be something crazy good in these packs. Let's see what we got. All right. Get another Tongue Poo's Assault. Another Fueling Up. There's a new one. Presidente on the house. <laughs> this one's getting shot behind the bar and he just takes the, the whiskey and starts drinking it. I remember that. Another rare is Graffiti Job. It's actually a really pretty card. Yeah, I remember that. I was like, I think I was legitimately sad when I saw that. <laughs> Let's see. Um... As a air reaction, so you're going to play it if uh, your character has air. After your opponent's combat phase begins, ready this foundation. Okay, pretty good. And then as an enhance, uh, that means you have to check a 4 to be able to play this enhance. And if you do it, this attack is minus 1 speed. So a very, like, good utility foundation, basically. Bloody Eye Rushdown. Another unhealthy diet. Tijuana Takedown take off. <laughs> Dreaming of Mars. That's Asimov and Katarina again. Police connections. Not my problem is the last card. All right. We got one more pack. I need to see... I need to see another... I need to see someone from the crew. I need a Fade Jet, Spike, or Ed card. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's Jet. I might ruin that pack. <laughs> okay, come on. Got another Presidente on the house. Section 13's failed experiment. Yes, he was. <laughs> another Lights Out Bounty. So no more characters, unfortunately. Just two copies of that guy. And then the last card is... Hey! <laughs> we got a loyal friend for the rare... Just a really simple flip it to seal only opponent's foundations. We got an iron card. I guess that's okay. Uh, Harrison's lucky day. Another surprising shower. Ganymede terrorists. Not my problem. Limitless pursuit. And finding what was lost. That is our lot for the Cowboy Bebop cards. So I can definitely start tweaking the Spike and Vicious decks with all this. Maybe even start making a Mad Perrier deck. I don't really know if you should even start doing it unless you have four copies. But we got two characters. Let's see what all of our shinies were. So we got the Loyal Friend, Graffiti Job, Psychedelic Mushroom, Hammerhead Assault, Big Shot Judy, Secret Stash, Feigned Interest, and Teddy Bomber. So we got... So altogether we got two Ultra Rares out of our eight packs, which is about the norm. I think there's... I think it's roughly a quarter of a box is uh, ultra rare cards. It might be less than that, somewhere around there. But that is awesome. I cannot wait to get more of these cards. <laughs> so I think that's it for this video. I'll be making another video after this one uh, to show me opening up all these other packs they sent us. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you again, Jasco Games, for sending me all this stuff to show off for you guys. Any questions or comments, of course, let me know. If there's anything you saw me pull in this video that you want to see me add to those Spike and Vicious decks so we can start start maybe start playing with a standard card 60 card deck uh let me know because i'm not the best at deck building in this game yet so i need some help all right that's it for me thank you guys for watching and as always have a nice day